everyone biotechnica welcome back again so today i'm going to talk about a topic again so this topic is going to be top 10 skill of a good biotech intern so we know that biotechnology internship if you're going to carry out you are going to acquire some skills so as a biotech intern what are the skills you are having so after your internship if you have all the skills then definitely it's very easy for you to grab up any job in a research laboratory or companies or any part of the world or even in India. So let's talk about all the top 10 skills of a good biotech intern in detail. So with no more delay, let's get started to the video. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So as I already told you, if you want to fetch a job, or if you want to go and work in a laboratory, you need to have some sort of experience by taking up a certification program or pursuing an internship in any of the fields. So after pursuing any of your internship, you need to analyze whether you are a good biotech intern or you don't acquire those skills. So if you have all the skills, then definitely after your internship, it's very easy for you to grab up a job. So I'll be talking about the hard skills and the soft skills. If I have to talk about hard skills and soft skills, you need to understand the main important differences. So hard skills are like learning a technique, like if you know PCR, if you know gel electrophoresis, then that knowledge is going to be your hard skills. So any hard skills usually help you to get to an interview. But after getting to an interview, you need to crack the interview. That moment, you definitely need a soft skills like communication skills, having a, a teamwork or leadership quality or ability to solve problems. So both the skills are important. So hard skills will definitely going to help you to get to the interview. After your internship, you will definitely have acquired a knowledge in learning any of the technique, which means you have acquired a hard skill. But do you have a soft skill to crack the interview? Yes, you need to have. So check out all the hard skills and soft skills that I'll be talking about. So first, I'm going to take you to all the soft skills. So the first soft skill is you need to have a leadership quality. Yes, whenever you go for an interview, the employer used to ask about your leadership quality or even in your resume, you can actually mention about your leadership qualities. So what's the purpose of a leader? Everybody knows the mindset of every leader is to convert a vision into a reality. So whatever a project or whatever is assigned to you, then definitely you have to convert all all the vision into your reality. So definitely any employer is going to check whether you have a leadership quality or not. So check whether you are a biotech intern, you have the skill or not. The next, this leadership quality is not only going to help you to your career, it's also going to help you to your lifestyle also or in your life also. So definitely acquiring a leadership skill as a soft skill is very important and it's always make you to be very confident. Suppose as a biotech intern, suppose if you love to go and work in a research laboratory, let's take it as an example. So after doing a research, definitely you have to go and present in a conferences or in a seminars or, or in a lab meeting. That time you definitely need to show that you have a kind of authority to speak. So that shows how confident you are when you deliver any kind of lecture in a seminar or confidence. Uh, so this is definitely going to help you out in your, in your interview process. So first soft skill is definitely going to be your leadership quality. The second soft skill is you're going to work with a lot of people, whether it is going to be in a biopharma company or it is going to be in a biotechnology company or even it is going to be in a research laboratory. You would be dealing with a lot of people. So the priority is, are you able to work with your team perfectly fine? because you have to demonstrate working amicably with the fellow mates. So this is one of the opportunity that will let you to grow well in your career. So suppose if I have to talk about when you are doing your internship itself, you might have acquired how to work with a laboratory mates, how to work with a fellow mates, how to acquire leadership habits. So during that period, have you acquired these soft skills? Yes, check it on it. So the next important soft skill is flexible and adaptable to changes yes whenever you're going to go in for any sort of work in a company or in a research laboratory not all the days are going to be fun and enjoyable sometimes you have to go through odd days 
those days are you able to be flexible and adaptable to the situation or you might be seeing some sort of differences from the previous company to this company that time you need to have a mindset of being flexible and adaptable to the situation that's actually happening so this is the third soft skills that you need to have what's the most important soft skills out of all the soft skills i'm going to tell you this is the most important soft skills that everybody are blessed with so this is a very important tool to spread the essence of your innovative idea yes if you are knowledgeable enough if you know many things but if you're not going to communicate to people then definitely the opposite person or the employer will not able to understand whether you have that thought or innovative thought within yourself so communication is going to be the best tool for you to grab any kind of job so as a biotech intern you might have acquired a hard skill with a soft skill when you're going to go in for an interview you need to prove yourself how good enough you fit into that job so definitely this is going to show the essence of your innovative ideas to the employer okay communication when everybody talks about people used to think about that this communication is only about speaking this is not always going to be speaking you would not be always speaking to the employer sometimes what exactly happen when you are uh, entering into a research field you will not be communicating a lot of time through a seminars and conferences you will of course present your papers or you will present your posters whenever any kind of international conferences come on your way but other times what's the best way to show your ability of doing a research definitely it's going to be writing a research paper that's a sort of communication i can say so it's not only going to be how you speak it's going to be how you write yourself through so that's a sort of communication so through a research paper or whether you express your innovative ideas to your employer so this communication whether it is in a, during your interview or in your laboratory during seminars or conference or through your writings in a research paper definitely going to help you through your career the next important thing it's the most important or foremost for stepping into a biotech world yes biotech world is flooded with a lot of talent so in order to stand out of the crowd you need to have a very well versed communication skills it's not going to be only speaking it's going to be your return skips also and it also helps you to present your work in front of the review community suppose if you are someone who want to enter into a laboratory and work in a laboratory become a researcher then you would be presenting your work every week in a lab or before a review community every time so that time you need to have a very good communication and a very good write up before the person whom you're going to talk about so deliver the productive work shared in the lab yes if you're not going to have a communicative skills let's suppose take it this way so if you're not going to have it then what exactly is going to happen you might have worked a lot in the laboratory you might have done a lot of things you might know many things but if you're not going to write up or if you're not going to tell what you have done in a laboratory in a very easier way nobody can understand you this is not going to fetch you a benefit at all so always remember out of all the soft skill communication skill is very important when you go for an interview or during your presentation or through your conferences so communication is one of the tools so check out whether you have this the next important thing is complex problem solving ability yes so this is a very important thing that i'm going to tell you because if you if you're going to have this one definitely wherever you land up you can actually fetch many things in your hands so assess problems in a troublesome way whenever you find a problem are you able to find a problem to a situation if you're entering into a company there would be a problems coming on your way so you need to tackle the problems or a project is given you have to find out a solution for the problem then you need to know a shortcut to analyze the problem and to find a solution for the problem and that solution has to be very accurate suppose if i have to talk about a researcher biotech researcher if they entering into a laboratory you need to know how to find out an accurate solution for a problem you might be coming out with a hypothesis so all a hypothesis will never end up in getting a good results you might be going through a uh, wrong results also that time you have to find out what can i go for the next alternative sometimes your gel electrophoresis will not work because of some a um, mi mixture of chemicals might be wrong that moment you need to find out what exactly the problem has gone through it in order to get your perfect result whether it is in a lab or if you want to go in for a academic institution or to any kind of biopharma or production company definitely this soft skill is going to fetch a job opportunity for you and the most important thing robust mindset with a solution approach is definitely going to help any biotech intern or any biotech fellow so these 
four are most important soft skills that I would suggest whether you're going for an interview or something else. The next important thing is innovative in thinking and I'm going to talk investing mind also. So you need to be innovative at times. Yes. So without innovation, we used to say there's a vehicle without a brake. If there is no brake, a vehicle would head on it. So without an innovation, you cannot make anything possible. So very specifically, if you're going in for a biotech sector company or a biopharma company landing up as any work. So you always need to have an innovative thinking. So whether it's a researcher or any field, you always need to have. Because whenever an employer or a scientist used to talk to you, they want to test how innovative thinking you have. Because based on that, they analyze and they come to a conclusion whether to give a job for you or whether to give a position in your lab for you. So innovative thinking is very much which makes you a bit standing out of the crowd. There are a lot of people who might be given a question to answer. And if you're going to answer a question in a very innovative way, that employer lawyer or the scientist will definitely be going to be impressed. So this is one of the soft skill that you need to acquire. The next important soft skill is going to be situational awareness. Yes, wherever you go, go, you need to know what is exactly happening around you. So whatever it is, suppose if you are in a biopharma company, very specifically if you're working in a company or in a laboratory, you need to know whether you run any kind of experiment, you need to know how the situation is or you made some kind of fuss over there. So situational awareness is another soft skill that you need to acquire and very important thing is attention to detail. Yes, so it pays minute attention in experiments. Suppose if you're entering into a company, they have been assigned you a task for you to perform an experiment. So when you run an experiment, you need to pay a minute detail to all the experiment. How much mole of the solution you're going to add? So how much amount of solution you're going to mix? Buffers, how much you're going to add? So check on to every minute details that you're going to do. So whether it is a data analysis or whether it is going to be an experiment in the laboratory and pen down. Suppose if you're going to write a research paper, even there you have to pay a very minute attention to all the details. So make sure you're writing all the things perfectly perfectly fine. So wherever you go, pay a lot of attention to a detail. And the most important thing is an investigating mind. Yes, you need to investigate some sort of questions which comes on your way. Because investigating mind will always find easy solutions. If they are giving a, a very large difficult question for you to solve, if you're going to investigate and if you're going to find a solution, you'll always find a smart way of finding a solution to that problem. So innovative thinking along with an investigating mind will definitely going to make you a very good biotech intern or a very good biotech graduate. So these leadership, teamwork, flexible, adaptable to changes, communication skill, innovative thinking, attention to details, an investing mind, situational awareness, problem solving abilities, all are going to be the soft skills. So you can see here the soft skills, communication, team player, flexible problem solving are going to be soft skill. Hard skills are going to be the techniques that you would be learning during your internship programs. That makes you a good intern. Definitely every intern will come out learning some techniques. But as an intern, are you having a soft skill? Because a hard skill will definitely get you into an interview. But a soft skill will definitely make you to crack the interview. So the next important thing is the hard skill that I'm going to talk about. So the knowledge of any working principle and experiment. Wherever you go for an internship or for a summer internship or for a project training, you always be learning some technique, whether it's going to be a PCR, RT-PCR, or latest technology. If I have to talk, if anybody is from industrial biotechnology, you would be knowing how the fermenter works. And then the gel electrophoresis, definitely a gel electrophoresis and DNA cloning techniques. Yes, this is also the most important and Western blotting. Yes, gel electrophoresis, Western blotting, SDS page, ELISA technique used in immunological aspects. And if you are a plant um, fellow who want to learn, then plant tissue culture, you might be knowing. And animal tissue culture, uh, next generation sequencing and CRISPR-Cas or flow cytometry, fax analysis, mass spectroscopy, confocal microscopy, any cell-based assays. So these are some of the techniques you would definitely be the learning during your internship program. So I'm very sure that all the biotech intern would have learned most of the techniques, 
but it's very important that you have your soft skill developed by yourself because we learn hard skills by going to a company or to an internship and then learn the hard skills. So definitely you are very knowledgeable enough to get a job. But if you're going to lack any of these things, it might be not be able to enter into the work that we love to work. So make sure you have all the top 10 skills that you have acquired during your biotech internship so that you fetch the job of your interest. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are watching out this video. Thank you so much for joining and I'm going to meet you back again with another wonderful video. Thank you all of you.